Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching today. Okay, what is unconditional love? And how do we feel that on our inside? The first thing that we must understand here is what is love? Now, how many songs out there, because I've got a few going through my head right now. <laughs> what is love, baby, don't hurt me. Okay, that's one that's going straight through my head right now. So what is love? It's acknowledging that another person is a free spirit who can do what they want when they want to. It's understanding or recognizing that everybody has free will. So let's talk about some of the attributes, characteristics, or some of the little interests intricities that all add up to what is love let's look about talk about trust it's trusting that that other person is going to treat us the same as what we treat them as what is dedication dedication is giving up our own time our own wants it is allowing the other person to have those instead. I dedicate the next two hours to doing a video. So all you learn is how to be in love with yourself. See what I mean? So I'm going to give up the next two hours that I could go and mow my grass or lie and watch a movie or have a sleep. But I'm here doing a video because I'm dedicated to my job. You understand that bit? The next one that I want to talk about is supportive. How supportive are we to somebody when we love them? We look after them. When they're sick, we bring them food. When they're injured, we bandage their wounds. When they're scared, we comfort and support them and get them through those issues. So we add support to that network of words that builds love encouragement now how many times do I say to people you can do this you can do this so encouragement is not blaming them if they fail it's acknowledging that every baby step along the way is making them ultimately a better person loyalty now loyalty is totally different to dedication loyal Am I loyal to my partner? Huh. Okay. Am I loyal to my job? Where I used to work, I had this job. Now, I've had a lot of jobs, so I pick a job. Could be any. But I was not loyal to that employer. So the day I left, there was nothing. I didn't want to go back. I didn't think about what they were like after I left them. I just walked away with my head high knowing I was making the right decision for me. So that's loyalty. Loyalty is when we do care about the other person or job or whatever. We do want to know how they go on without us in their lives. So we're loyal. So what now is commitment? And is that different? Yes, it is. Commitment is when I say I'm going to commit the next two years of my life to do this course. If I fail and I don't finish it, then that's on me. So all these attributes all come up to love. How do we love an animal? Because we support it, we encourage it, we're dedicated to its survival. See what I mean? Love is not just love by itself. It's accumulations of all these other attributes. When we see an injured animal and you pick it up and you tend to its wound and you look after it, then that is love because you're supporting and you're encouraging it to get better so it can go on and have a life. Huh. So how do we feel un? unconditional love unconditional love is when we say I don't care what 
you do. You can do whatever you like or whoever you like. But at the end of the day, if you come back to me and treat me with loyalty, dedication, commitment, support, encouragement, and all the rest of those words, then I unconditionally accept you. Acceptance is when we say, okay, I am going to allow you to do whatever you want, but I am not going to judge, I am not going to accuse you, but at the end of the day, I register within my head that I respect you. I respect your decisions to do what you want when you want. And at the end of the day, I respect you for doing what you want. Okay? If I have a belief system where a partner should be committed, dedicated, loyal, trustworthy to their partner, then that would be a breach of that trust if that other person did go off and get another girlfriend or boyfriend, correct? But that's their decision. It's not my decision. When I found out that one of my ex-husbands was sleeping around, guess what I did? I didn't sit there and I didn't blame, I didn't accuse him. I'd said nothing to him because I registered that he can do anything that he wants. It's his life. If he chose to stay with me, then that is his decision. We are not connected at the hip ever, ever. How many people out there try to control their partner because they need to know where that person is? They need to know how much money they spend because they don't trust their partner because ultimately they themselves have an issue. Hmm. So how do we get unconditional love it's to release our own issues accept others for who they are and say to ourselves they can do whatever they want and I'll accept it anyway if they want to spend the day with me then I appreciate that now what was that just here behind me I hope you saw that Do, 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 do. Anyway, I just saw it. Okay, I'll have to look at that later. Okay, okay, but at the end of the day, guys, if we just accept other people, no judgment, don't get offended. Do you know what offended actually is? When we get offended, we've got the issue. We're the ones with the issue. I don't like them. They're offending me. I don't like their clothes. That's our issue. Why can we not say, I don't like that, but I accept that it's your decision to do that? Ha! Huh. See how positive now we're getting? Okay? So next time you judge somebody, sit there and say, how have I got the right to tell somebody else what to do. Have I got the right to tell that person what to wear? Have I got the right to tell that person that? At the end of the day, we don't. I give free will every I, I give free advice every day, and it's up to the other people if they listen. It's up to your decision whether you listen to me on here, right? But I'm not forcing you to do it. I'm not pushing this down your throat. Okay, we can all walk away and don't get offended. I certainly don't get offended by anyone who says, oh, Linda, I watched a video of yours and I didn't like it. I say, okay, well, can you give me feedback? Because there might be others out there who don't like the way I do it too. Okay, so I take that feedback and I use it productively. 
But at the end of the day, how many people actually do that? Not many actually do ask for feedback. Oh, I've got an issue with your clothes. I don't like the way you do your hair. Oh my God, why did you buy those shoes? Give yourself the feedback and say, why are you judging what they're doing? They're not connected to you at their hip. They're a total separate person. They're a total separate soul having a totally separate life lesson and a life contract. We don't know what they're going through. We have enough issues trying to work ourselves out, right? So at the end of the day, how do we get unconditional love is when we say, I let you be whoever you are to do whatever you want. And at the end of the day, I simply do not care because I love you so much. You know, I was... I. I had this male friend for a while and he said, oh, Linda, um, you know, do you get upset if I don't come over and see you for a day? I said, mate, I don't care. He said, what, you don't care about me? I said, no, you don't understand it. You don't understand it. I allow you to do and be whoever you are without my emotional attachment where I get offended or judge or care about what you do. Of course, I care about you as a person. I care about your qualities, your attributes, your characteristics, your behaviors. I care about the person that you are. But what you do does not matter to me, for I accept you anyway. At the end of the day, if we could do that to every single person on the planet, how good would this planet be? Please share this video with anyone you think needs to hear this, like any of my other videos, okay? Because this is a big wake-up lesson for so many today. Don't get involved and create drama, which creates victimization, which I'll go into again too, because this is all psychology, okay? Don't be a victim and say, oh my God, I'm offended because of what he did. What he did is his opinion. It's his decision. It's his free will. And most of all, it's his life lesson and life contract. Only concentrate on your own, guys. So how do we create love within us? Let's get this positive now. How do we create unconditional love within us? Let's go through these attributes again. Do we trust ourselves? Huh. Do we acknowledge ourselves? Do we encourage ourselves? Do we compliment ourselves? Do you are you loyal to yourself? If you see that you've got an injury do you go and bandage it up do you wash your hair when it gets tangly or brush it so it's self-care which is self-worth which is loyalty devotion encouragement and love do you do you get patient with yourself you know i'm getting older now there's things i can't do as quick as i used to so I slow down and I laugh at myself and I say, you know what, Linda, you're getting there. You're still going strong. There's the encouragement. There's the support. There's that dedication that I'm still on board with what my Linda body is doing. I'm still giving myself all that loyalty, devotion and commitment. And this is how we create love. I love you me is the biggest three words that anybody can ever say to another person when we love ourselves we give ourselves that self-worth value appreciation respect when we show that to ourselves it emits out of us from the inside out. So go back through your life. 
Think of a time when you were so damn proud of something you did. It could be smelling a rose. It could be looking after a sick puppy. It could be fidgeting with your new DVD player and getting it working. (laughs) Because I struggle with that sort of stuff. So I'm proud when I accomplish it. You sit there and you get that self-pride happening within us. You think, you know what? I did a really good job. I am so proud of myself. And then you say, why? You say, I'm so proud of myself because I never thought I could do that. Now I can do it. And then you even go more and you say, well, why didn't you think you could ever do it? You say, well, I, 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 I'm really proud of myself. I am so, I didn't realize that I am so good. And see how it builds? It's building inside me now. Linda. Yes. Are you aware that you are so proud of yourself? Yes, now I'm getting my confidences building. Oh my God, now it's coming out of the inside of me. And I'm thinking, my God, I love myself. I really love that I'm wearing a red shirt today. I've got my ruby on, my favourite stone on the planet. I've washed my hair this morning, so my hair's all curly. I love that I'm looking after myself. I love that I'm dedicated to my viewers and I'm here doing a video today. I love that I'm... Oh my God, now I can feel it inside me. It's like this warmth, these butterflies are building in my stomach. Boom, boom, boom. It feels like I'm floating. And you know what? Now I'm feeling unconditional love for myself as well as everybody else on the planet. When I leave home and I see some idiot doing some stupid act, because we see it every day, right? I don't say, you tosser. I don't go up to them and say, mate, what the heck? I think, oh my God, I hope he's okay. And I sit there and I think, what has he been through to make him act like that? Tell you a little side story. You know, I used to be an administration officer with the police, right? I had a cop came up to me one day and he said, Linda, Why do you care so much about all the offenders? And I said, mate, my concern is that you don't. I said, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to what a person does on this given day. Like, like they have to, you know, they see something happen. They have to arrest them. I fully understand this, but bad things happen to good people. I look at the person and not that action because we all make mistakes. We always make mistakes. Every day we do it. And as long as we can sit there and you say at the end of the day, you know what, Linda? I trust, trust. I trust that you're going to be better tomorrow. You're going to learn from this mistake. And if I don't, then that's on me. Because ultimately, the only person on this planet I have to impress is me. The only person who I have to look after, care for, support, encourage, motivate, be patient with. The only person I have to trust, the only person I have to be dedicated, loyal and committed to is me. Because at the end of the day, if I can do all that for me, which is called self-love, at the end of the day, if I've got all that within me, guess what that does when I go up to other people and it comes out of me like a pheromone and then everybody gets attached to it. Something to think about, guys. Hope you've liked this video. Like it if you did. Comment and let me know my email's below my paypal link is below if you've liked this and you've learned something okay talk to you all soon bye